And now, on with the show. Hey guys, welcome to the first ever drive-in movie review. Uh, first up, we have 1975's Kiss of the Tarantula. This is uh, kind of a very low-budget uh, Willard meets uh, Carrie rip-off film. Um, you have, instead of uh, the rats from Willard, you have uh, this girl, her name's Susan, who can control spiders and do her bidding. Uh, the movie starts off uh, kind of cool, kind of a cool premise. Uh, uh, Susan overhears her mother talking about uh, killing her father. Uh, you know, to be with her her lover at the time, which happens to be her uncle, uh, so that's kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, she overhears it, sends some spiders. The woman, the mother, ends up having a heart attack. Uh, so uh, already, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But that happens in like the first ten minutes. I mean, it's not. You know, I I, th I thought it was gonna be the entire movie, but no, it's just the first ten minutes. The rest of the movie focuses on Susan, who's grown up now, and uh, kind of how like all her. Uh, schoolmates treat her uh there's a group of kids who break into the mortuary to steal a coffin for a party uh that doesn't really go very far but uh they end up like seeing susan and kind of like harassing her and making fun of her uh and some for some strange reason they they find the her little den uh in the basement is where she keeps all her spiders and they end up like killing one and then she goes kind of crazy and sends uh some spiders after them and then the movie kind of goes off into killing every one of the kids and then uh, killing the people who know about the kids. Uh, you got some weird subplots. There's an incest story. You know, the the guy the mother was cheating on with is the uncle, her uncle, and her uncle wants to have relations with her. And it's, it's kind of very creepy, but I think all old movies I've been watching lately have some sort of incest uh, backstory, which is kind of cool. Uh, and by kind of cool, I mean, like, kind of weird. I'm not sure why I said cool there. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, overall, the movie is okay. There's lots of scenes that uh, were kind of eerie. The guy in the ventilation system, uh, that's the clip you saw at the very beginning. I thought that was really cool and very creepy. Uh, one of the bad things about the movie, uh, the spiders are actually, aren't actually in the last 20 minutes, which I know is, is kind of kind of BS. Uh, but uh, and most of the spider kills aren't even really spider kills. They're just kind of people who, who die or someone accidentally, like, you know, they're trying to get away from the spiders and then kills them, killing somebody else. Or someone, you know, mother died of a heart attack and one guy died of uh, suffocation. So uh, it was not uh, not bad, but not that good. So I definitely wanted to see more, like, spider chewing on people kind of deal. The print that I watched was VCI Entertainment. So it was a nice 16 by 9 anamorphic print. Uh, if you're a fan of drive-in movies, yeah, definitely go watch it. It's awesome. Uh, here's mine. I actually bought it on a double feature with uh kiss uh, with ruby uh so yeah it was pretty good but yeah if you're looking for kind of a willard style movie you'll like it if you're a fan of spider movies i think you'll like it uh one last thing uh kind of a spoiler so uh watch it if you don't want to want to know this but um susan of course kills her uncle by uh well first off he becomes paralyzed and then she ends up uh, taking him and then putting her putting him into a, a, a casket with another body like putting him like underneath uh, which is very weird, very uh, I guess kind of sadistic because once like everything's on top, you can't hear them scream anymore. Uh, so that's kinda, that was kind of creepy. The only bad thing about it, it went on for way too long. It was like like a f ten minute scene. And it was just like her like picking the, bo the the dead body up, putting it away, picking the uh, the uncle's body, putting it into the casket, putting the other pass. It, it was way too long. It should have been faster. But overall, not a bad driving movie, and I would say semi-recommended if you're a fan. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching the first ever drive-in movie review, and uh, hopefully I'll maybe do more. I'm not sure how, how well this is going to go. I don't even know if I'll be printing this. Probably will be. But anyways, thanks for watching and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the little underbar below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.